Are you ready to start diversifying your investment holdings but aren't sure where to turn? Sean Coyle of SNC Investment Partners and Chris Mooney of Cider Moon Investment Group are here to show you how they partner on owning and operating multifamily real estate projects throughout the Southeast. Let's learn more. I started SNC Investment Partners because I wanted to take my strength and abilities and use them to help my friends and families benefit from the financial upside of real estate investing. Having bought my first property and getting started in the business with only $14,500, I've closed on over 4,200 apartments that have a resale value of over $500 million. Our portfolio spans the southeastern states of Tennessee, North Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, Louisiana, as well as states such as Texas and Wyoming. We seek to provide quality investment opportunities in southeastern states. We provide investors with above market returns while mitigating downside risk. Real estate investing has the power not only to improve an investor's financial future, but also the very communities where they are investing. We are creating jobs in the local community as well as injecting money into the local commerce. We aim to leave every property we've ever owned in better condition than when we found it, while also improving the residents' lives who live there. I think the biggest obstacle for getting started in multifamily is the high cost entry barrier. The high capital amount required for down payment, closing costs, insurance, leaves it that most investors are unable to take part in these opportunities. By raising money from multiple investors by syndicating deals, we open up these real estate opportunities to all our friends and family so they can take part in them. If you want to go fast, go alone, but if you want to go far, go together. And I think this is extremely applicable to what Chris and I have achieved in the industry so far. We both have our students, my being the construction background, having worked in construction since I was 14 years old back in Ireland, and Chris's knowledge being in finance and business. Chris has a natural charisma and confidence that is infectious with investors and lenders alike. I think it's been a perfect mixture of both our expertise that has allowed us to be so successful in our industry. We started off with smaller apartment buildings that had simpler improvements. Then we advanced into larger and heavier lift properties that required more expertise and a lot more capital. After that, we graduated to performing full gap renovations on properties that have been vacant for 10 to 20 years. Next, we were successful in changing the resident demograph of our 404 unit property in Baton Rouge, Louisiana to predominantly workforce housing. We then tried our hand at a conversion project and were successful in redeveloping a rundown hotel into a luxury class A 134 unit multifamily property. Now we are performing another building conversion project, transforming a former bank building into a high-end luxury 31 unit property with a drive-through commercial space in Alabama. In addition to upgrading apartment interiors while also enhancing the common areas and improving the amenities, this not only improves the quality of life for our residents, but also creates a ripple effect further out into the local community. It's an amazing feeling to get when an investor tells you that the money that they've made from our projects has positively impacted their lives. Sean and I joined together almost 10 years ago now. Um, he had a significant more experience in real estate. Uh, and investing in multifamily, especially in the Southeast, than I had. I had a very finance-heavy and traditional business background, um, and I was fortunate enough to you know, become his partner. I was able to learn from his past experiences, and then we were able to grow together and turn a small side job into both of our full-time jobs. We choose markets in the Southeast strategically based on growth and areas that used to be booming or are on the outskirts of major cities. We try to stay ahead of the investment dollars, and we're we can focus on areas of workforce housing where people can still afford to live even after we put money into the properties. We try to keep them affordable and just a much nicer product, but that's still affordable and not brand new construction that you know people can't afford and they can't get out of that class C type apartment complex. We create class B in some cases, or in some cases we do total renovations and create a class A project uh, with class A finishes, but because we didn't have to do brand new construction, it still allows us to keep the rent affordable, even though the product is you know, essentially the same as a new construction that would cost twice as much a, a month to live. The market indicators, we look for population growth, really sound industry in the area that you know backs the economy. We have so many family and friends and people that are counting on us to do a good job, so we're really picky when it comes to picking an actual property once we've identified a really solid market. 
all potential properties are taken through an extensive underwriting process and exhaustive due diligence to ensure meticulous evaluation. There's always challenges in this industry. There's something new that you never thought would happen that happens. There's natural disasters where we've encountered tornadoes that have ripped roofs off of buildings. COVID was a big challenge as people were losing their jobs and we had to work with them. Riverwalk 803 is a hotel conversion to multifamily in Clarksville, Tennessee. We wanted to offer something that's still an affordable rate and basically everything class A and brand new at the same time. Establishing a direct line of communications ensures credibility, trust, and loyalty. Communication is really the main aspect of what I do day to day. Um, overseeing operations from internally for the exterior projects that we're completing as well as the internal uh, renovations. Uh, having the dynamic uh, with the on-site team members uh, versus our contractors is, is very important. We started out third party management on some of our assets and quickly realized the communication aspect can be difficult. We decided the aspect of internally managing those, those properties would be better fitting and luckily we had the experience to do so. Make a positive impact in your community by investing with the right partners on the right projects today. In the future, we're looking at a lot of opportunistic deals like the hotel conversion or the office space conversions. The people aspect of this business is what we focus on and it usually works out for us and for everybody. Everyone's happy and everyone gets to live comfortably the way they should. For more information about SNC Investment Partners, visit their website, sncinvestmentpartners.com and of course, visit our website, InsideTheBlueprint.com.